DJ with different genres of music. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, we're going to talk about it. A lot of people think about DJing, uh, two images usually pop into their mind. So the, the number one is the DJ like Marshmello or Martin Garrix up there DJing house music, EDM music, doing beat matches, doing build-ups, and doing drops. And that's what a lot of people think DJing is. And then also there is the like hip-hop DJ, like DJ Jazzy Jeff, doing the scratch and doing the juggle and doing the turntablism. But that is not the only type of DJing that there is. And you could actually DJ with pretty much any genre. Because DJing isn't scratching, DJing isn't beat matching, DJing isn't drops. DJing is about playing the music for the people that's there and making sure everyone is entertained and has a good time listening to the music that they want. So in this video, I'm just going to touch on a couple of the most popular genres that you might find yourself DJing with. This way you could be prepared if you get booked for a gig that wants a certain type of music that you're not used to, or if you're DJing and someone gives you a request and you decide to play that request and it's a different genre than what you're used to. Now, it, when you do a wedding, when you do Sweet Sixteens and parties like this, you might have to switch up your genre and play some stuff that you might not really be comfortable playing. Opposed to if you were booked at, a, at the club on, um, let's say, uh, it was Tech House Tuesdays at the club, and then you go there and you're only playing Tech House, that's a little bit different than a mobile gig where you might have to play a more diverse type of music. So let's start with country music. Now, mixing country music is going to be different than mixing EDM music because when EDM music is made, it is usually, uh, at least modern EDM music, is made on a computer, and the, if it says that it's 128 BPMs, then it is computer designed to perfectly be 128 BPMs. So therefore, if you find another song that's 128 BPMs and you line up the beat, it'll sound great and it'll blend together because the BPMs will stay the same. Now, with country music, with classic rock music, and with music that was actually played by someone actually hitting the drums, this could throw you off. Because in your DJ app, if you look at a song, let's just, um, let's get a basic country song up. Go, we'll go to the title, and we'll do, um, Blake, um, we got Alan Jackson. Now, this type of music was, was created probably with a band that where someone was playing the drums. Same thing with classic rock music. So if somebody's actually playing the drums and they're supposed to be playing 128 BPM, it could be a little bit off. You don't know if on that day the drummer, you know, he had a couple of beers or he did something else that might make, might make it a little bit off and not perfectly 128. This is something that I struggled with when I first started DJing because I would always practice doing EDM music and then doing beat match. And then someone would say, oh, play a country song. And then I would try to beat match it. And I would just, I couldn't get it in, uh, get my head around it that even though both these songs were 128, that it was just impossible to mix it together. So with country music, I would suggest doing more smooth mixes play more of the song and then also use transitions such as echoing out or use more of the effects and samples when you switch from song to song. And now the same thing with DJing with these different type of genres, a lot of times there'll be a popular country song at, like this one by, um, by uh, Marshmallows in it, but it's called One Thing Right. So we got this song, One Thing Right, and then there is a slow country version of the song, but then there are also many different versions of the song that that are kind of dance mixes. So you could go, somebody requests the country song, you could play a couple of country songs, 
and then you could start one song and then play and then mix it in, raise the BPM gradually, and then play the dance version of the song, and then you're back into your dance party's music, and then that's a good way to get out of that genre. And then it's also the same thing if you want to get in. You could start by playing a remix or a party or a club version of a popular country song and then slow it down and then get into playing just regular, you know, good old country music. So now let's move on to classic rock because it is similar to with the country because it's not going to be beats, bass, drums created on a computer that is organized and computerized to be a certain BPM, a certain key, and this. It's going to be a band of actual people playing the guitar, playing the drums, playing the keyboard, or whatever instruments that they're playing. So this is going to be a different type of mixing than if you were doing EDM. With EDM, with electronic music, I, I made a video on this that I recommend doing quick mixes, only playing 30 seconds, only playing one minute of the song. But if somebody requests these uh, classic rock songs like from the 80s, from the 70s, like if we're doing um, Journey, you know, Don't Stop Believing, you don't want to cut it off before the chorus. That's the kind of song where you play it all the way through and then everybody sings along, all the older folks, maybe you're at a wedding and the, um, there's the parents, the grandparents, and they want to hear this type of music. Don't get it in your head and be like, oh, I'm a DJ, I got a mix, I got a scratch, I got a beat match. Just let the song play out, and then you could do outro to intro type mixing, and that's a great way to get through these sections of the music. Or you could pick a time where it's not really dancing, going crazy time of, of the party. Like maybe you make a separate playlist for when... if. If the uh, people at the party requested these type of classic rock songs or even with the country songs, maybe you could make a nice relaxing country or classic rock playlist that you could put on when everyone's eating dinner or like everyone's doing cocktail hour or when it's more of a non-dancing time and then save your popular dance songs for when it is dancing time. And now reggae is going to be the same type of thing. It's not most of it is not going to be electronic unless you're going like to dance hall and stuff like that. With the reggae songs, you could use samples and effects such as the air horn, which is also called the reggae horn, and those type of mixing, or, or maybe just throw in a throw in a spin back and then go to the next song. Or you could get on the mic. You could use the mic to do these transitions. Oh, you guys like that one? Check out this one. You guys like that classic rock song? Here's a classic reggae song. Let's go. And then you could use your microphone. You don't get it in your head that as a DJ, you have to DJ and mix and do beat matches and do these smooth transitions every single time because truthfully, that is not the case and it might hurt your DJ performance more than it will help it. Now, another type of music that you're going to be asked to play is going to be these um, old school rap songs from the 90s, you know, Little John, 50 Cent, and that type of music. At a wedding, this is pretty popular. Everybody, you know, when they were younger and they used to listen to these songs, and now that they're older, they it brings back a memory, it brings back a feeling that you know touches something in them and then they like to dance to it and like to have a good time so with these songs what you're going to be careful with is only playing you, you only want to play the popular and good part like the chorus and then some of the rapping and stuff like that because some of these songs have a lot of you know questionable language and stuff like that or like rap verses or stuff that might not be appropriate for the party that you're DJing at so you could cut those parts out, play the popular parts of the song, and then do the quick mixing like you would with the electronic and the EDM music because you could go, you could get through a lot of these songs quicker and people won't get bored of the same song. So I hope this guy, this helped you guys to free yourself up, free yourself up and not be stuck in one genre and not be overwhelmed if you are asked to play a different genre of music. So if you want to learn more about DJing, 
DJing with the iPad and all about the DJ Pro app, subscribe to my channel and give this video a like. Thank you.